it's your girl salute maria and welcome back to my channel before we get into this video today make sure y'all like comment and subscribe okay y'all so i'm back with another story time today from the tidy you already know what your girl is about to talk about so let's get into this video today okay y'all so this story take place back when i was in high school okay and it's like yeah one of those times where y'all i didn't know what i was doing but I was trying to do something, okay? And your girl got play. But yeah, let's get into this video, y'all. So back in the day when I was in high school, y'all, like I told y'all, y'all know my type back then or whatever. And it was like this upperclassman or whatever. And we just gonna call him Boogie. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling him that, y'all. I'm just calling him Boogie. We just gonna call him Boogie or whatever, y'all. And it was this girl. I mentioned her before, but I never gave her a name. And I'ma just call her, um, I'ma just call her too lit or whatever, because like she literally made my experience being in high school like that last year when I actually lived with my mom for like a few months, you know, after my uncle kicked me out. She made those times worth living in high school, okay, y'all? Because I literally never did shit in high school. I never had did anything. Y'all don't really got no true memories. All my memories in high school was just me sneaking and geeking and geeking and sneaking. And that sucks, y'all. Like, when I be watching my girls and watching y'all story times or whatever, y'all, you know, like, my content is very different. My content is basically, like, involving me personally in my life. You know what I'm saying? I do have some story times with friends or people, other people besides just myself. But it's mostly about me overall. Like, my life, my, my story, you know what I'm saying? And how certain people did me dirty. But it's not far as, like, you know, all the different friend groups and being able to do whatever you wanted to do, come in wherever you wanted to go. Like, my life wasn't like that. Like, my life was the life where you had to sneak and geek, okay? You had to sneak and geek to have fun. And, you know, people get thrills out of that. And I feel like that kind of mess kids up later on in life because some people that's, like, real caged in, they end up being, like, they do too much when they when they get the time to be able to do those things you know what i'm saying but i ain't never been the type to do too much you know what i'm saying but i did sneak and geek and got the time in that i could you know when i could get it in so when i met her or whatever i was just like yeah she lit like i really really like her or whatever y'all hold on yeah like i really really like like too lit or whatever like she cool as fuck like she the type of person i never really been around she was the type of person that was gonna make me step out my comfort zone you know what i'm saying and to just open up and have fun y'all because i'm real like cage and type of person like if you don't really talk to me i'm never gonna talk to you and i've been told y'all that so when i when i seen boogie or whatever he was a great hoe higher than me or whatever and I would just, like, see him around. Like I said, y'all, back then, I I literally didn't talk to nobody. I'm out of my business. I never I never had time. Like, I, I just never did. Like, even if I thought you was cute or whatever, I would never try to talk to you. Like, if you talk to me. And that's so crazy, y'all. Everybody I thought I was, I was cute, that was cute in high school, maybe, like, two of them, out of all those people, they all came and talked to me. I never had to do anything. Like, never did nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just thought about it in my head like oh yeah i want that but i ain't never get that but they came and got me you know what i'm saying but with boogie or whatever i never really even looked at him in that type of way i never really even paid him any mind until he started like checking for me type shit so like we would interact with each other like on facebook or whatever and i was just like, oh, okay cool like he cute or whatever so around that time y'all i started like going out with too lit all the time like i would go to her house or whatever and around that time they had like teen clubs or whatever and i'm gonna just say the name y'all if y'all live in columbia south carolina whatever back then it was a club it's no longer here it was called uh jet nightlife and that shit lit like lit 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 the first time i ever went to jet night life was with two turn i mean i'm talking about two turn two lit and um i'm gonna just call her lit i'm gonna just call her lit because i'm gonna fuck that up every time but um the first time i ever went with anybody it was her or whatever and it was so fucking lit i was like yes because i was just used to like going to like little house parties or whatever like turning up and having fun or whatever at the house parties or whatever so when i actually got to experience that and it was like the whole city was out like everybody i know everybody that go to school with us be in here i'm like yeah i gotta with her or whatever so 
we would just go out and have fun, whatever. She knew everybody. Um, I got my first belly button piercing with her or whatever, but ended up rejecting. I had got my belly button pierced like maybe twice or three times, and it just would not stay. Like, it just kept rejecting or whatever. So, um... <laughs> Um, after a while, y'all, and I'm bringing her and him up in the story time for a reason, but, um, around that time, y'all, Boogie would just, like, say I'm cute or whatever and try to talk to me or whatever, and around that time, I forgot what I named the boy, um, when I was talking about Capper, what did I name his friend? I forgot, y'all. Okay, y'all, I named him Middleman, okay? So, I was, I was real cool with Middleman. Besides the point of me dealing with Capper, after that went on, y'all, Middleman continued to be my friend for years after that. So, like, I would tell him little stuff about it or whatever, and he was just like, oh, yeah, like, um, you must really like him or whatever. I'm like, yeah, me and him been talking or whatever. Like, Boogie, he cool or whatever. Like, I never really paid him no mind before. She, he was just like, yeah, but, you know, keep in mind, like, he older than you or whatever, and... You don't know, like, he is player or whatever. I'm just like, yeah, but I'm not really worried about that. I ain't trying to make the nigga my boyfriend or nothing. He was like, yeah, but still, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could tell you really like him because you're talking about him or whatever. And I was like, yeah, he cute or whatever. And I would also tell Lit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Boogie, he cool, like, or whatever. He was trying to link with me or whatever. And, like, I don't know when I ever have time to link with him because I can't do anything. And she was just like, yeah, girl, I understand that or whatever. So me and him was talking for like a long time, like just, you know, talking here and there or whatever. We'd see each other in school or whatever, but it would never really be on too much on, on nothing like that. Like it would be like real light, real smooth or whatever, but we wouldn't be planning each other face in school. That's another thing, y'all. Like dudes really are playing your face. Like they had to talk all that shit behind a computer screen or behind a text message. But when you in person and you in school and all their other friends and homeboys and little juggies is around they act like they don't even know you and that should have been a real big red flag like girl this boy don't even talk to you at school for real but like what you know what i'm saying but i wasn't even looking at it like that i was just like whatever because i'm real low-key anyway i don't like people knowing my business so like i didn't really look at it as it as a red flag or whatever so around this time y'all i was literally like just going over a lit house every time i got a chance my mama got to know her she was cool with my mom or whatever my mom would cook for them if they came over there, whatever, even middleman came to my mama, um, well, that's what I call it, the ranch or whatever, where my mom was staying. It was, a uh, some place that my uncle owned or whatever, and my, um, brother, my mama, and all of them worked for him at one specific time or whatever, and they all lived in his house. So, some of my friends would come over there or whatever, and every time my friends would come over there or whatever, they would, she would, like, cook for them, and they would eat or whatever. They would eat or whatever, so everybody loved my mama, you know what I'm saying, back then, because my mom was lit, too. Like, she was lit as fuck. So when Lit met my mom or whatever, my mom was just like, okay, you cool. You can go wherever you want to go. That's one thing like I hate it. I was just like, damn, like when my mom was on drugs all those times and I missed all those years with her and I had to do all that stuff with my uncle, like sneaking around. I knew it wouldn't have been like that if I was with my mom. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I just kind of hated that I have no real memories from high school because I didn't really get to do anything because I was on lockdown 24-7 every day of the motherfucking week. So, you know what I'm saying? When I got the okay that I can just go up this girl house anytime I wanted, I was like, okay, cool. Like, I'm used to my advantage. So, it was one night that we was going to go to uh, Jet Nightlife or whatever. And I was just, like, um, hitting a boogie or whatever. I'm like, I'm going over there um, to wait with lit or whatever and we gonna hit jet nightlife or whatever after that. And he was like, oh, word. Like, I was going there too or whatever. So, I was like, okay, cool. Beat me there, okay? <laughs> he was like, well, you can't get her to, like, come drop you off, like, before uh, you go there or whatever, and I can just take you there or whatever. And I was just like, I don't know, like, if I was really feeling that, y'all, because I don't really trust people. And I was just, you know, like, kind of scared. And he was like, you know, like, I'm going to the same place. Like, if she drop you off, you already at her house or whatever, y'all. I think I was, like, spending the night at her house. I was over there. And he was like... We could chill or whatever. I'm thinking we just about to chill. We could chill or whatever. Because me and this boy already been talking for, like, mad long. You know what I'm saying? So, he was... I was like, okay. Like, I asked her whatever. So, I ended up asking Lit. I'm like, you think you can drop me off at Boogie House, um, like, a few hours before we go to, uh, to Jet or whatever? And she was like, okay, cool. So, she dropped me off over there, y'all. I was nervous going over there. I didn't know what to think. You know what I'm saying? I ain't thinking nothing crazy because me and this boy ain't never linked before. You know what I'm saying? 
So we go over there, y'all. Me and him talking or whatever. It, it's like he lived in like a college house or house or whatever because he had like roommates or whatever. So it was like a real nice apartment or whatever. And I went upstairs or whatever. And he was like, I could sit right there on his bed, whatever. Me and him talking or whatever, having a little dialogue, y'all. And he started like being real touchy and filly or whatever. So I'm just like, oh, okay, like where the fuck is this about to go? So we was talking and for a cool little minute and this things just start taking a far left. And I'm just like... I know we not about to do this right before I go to the club, like, you know what I'm saying? But it was kind of given, and I was, like, in the moment or whatever, y'all. So, me and Boogie end up doing the Boogie. And I, oh! Okay. And, you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, damn, I shouldn't have did that. I was already thinking, like, damn, I shouldn't have did that. And, y'all, I was thinking, damn, I shouldn't have did that because Boogie was the first person I ever at that point in time ever had unprotected sex with y'all so i was overthinking everything and i was very scared and i was just like i should have never did that so that's why i made that comment yeah you know what i'm saying like ugh. but and, and at the time y'all i was just like cool i like this dude or whatever y'all like whatever like it is what it is so after that situation y'all he wasn't weird or anything like that like we ended up cleaning each other cleaning not cleaning each other up, ended up, ended up whatever and he ended up like i went in the bathroom freshen up got myself together whatever and he went to freshen up and got himself together it's like you ready to go i'm like yeah so we ended up riding back to to the club or whatever and I'm texting Lit the whole time. She was like, yeah, girl, we already in here. Just let me know when you get in or whatever. I was like, okay, cool. We're going to be there about 15, 20 minutes or whatever. She was like, okay, cool. Let me know. So we ended up getting there, y'all, or whatever. And uh, I was with him, so I ended up getting in for free. It was free anyway. I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't pay. I walked right in with him. And come to find out, he just be going out anyway. And he knew everybody. So, because he was kind of popular in high school, too. And he ended up, like, going on stage and everything. I'm like, damn. He left me. How I drive? He was like, you know what your friends are? I'm like, yeah. He left me, y'all. He literally left me. So, I'm just like, okay, cool. Whatever. Like, I'm not thinking nothing of it. Like, of course, like, we just did it. Like, we ain't about to be doing all that extra shit in here. So, whatever. So, I'm just like, okay, cool. I, red flag, though. Red flag. Flag on the plate. Because, damn. Like, damn, nigga. We can't get a little dance set before you leave me. He's like, where your friend at? Oh, you found your friend? All right, bye. Deuces. I got what I needed. I got the cootie cat. I'm out. You are really dumb. For real. So, <laughs> so, I ended up turning up. She asked me how I was. I'm like, girl, it was too lit. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever y'all and we just laughing about it or whatever and she was just like okay girl we lit tonight so we in there lit or whatever y'all dancing having the time of our life y'all when i tell you that club used to be so motherfucking lit it was so motherfucking lit then i seen him on stage y'all we just making eye contact with each other not saying nothing he just sitting up there posted up or whatever bitches dancing on him and shit and i'm just looking dumb as fuck in the crowd or whatever and dancing with my friends turn up so after that situation, y'all, we ended up getting back to school or whatever. I'm running my mouth, telling middleman what happened or whatever. He like, oh hell no, like you didn't did that, you didn't let the nigga hit. And I'm like, yeah, bro, I let the nigga hit. And he like, damn. And I was like, um, he was like, so what y'all gonna do? And I'm like, shit, I don't know. Like, I'm, no, I barely even get to go any motherfucking where for real. But my mom did let me do, you know, stuff. So after this, y'all, maybe like a week go by, y'all, I see him start posting his girl, and I'm just like, what the fuck, like, and the girl was cute too. I was like, oh, okay. So I start asking middleman. I'm just like, do you know this girl? Like, I'm showing him pictures of the girl and everything. He like, nah, I don't know her, but they real cozy. He got a girlfriend? I'm like, I don't know. Like, that's what it looked like. So, y'all, I go to this girl page, and she got, like, mad pictures of them. Like, they been in a relationship. So I'm just like, damn, like, this nigga had a girlfriend the whole time? Bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. <laughs> And he was like, damn, Dante, see, I told you, like, he older, he upperclassman. That girl don't even go to our school, y'all. She looked like she was, like, and then I, was, I ain't gonna lie, like, I was looking at her page and stuff. I think she was, like, in college. Like, she wasn't even, she didn't even go to our school at all. Like, I don't even know where this girl came from, but I just know she was pretty or whatever. He started posting. I'm like, damn. And, y'all, shortly after that, he started not talking to me anymore. Nah, he's Boogie just stopped talking to me, whatever. And I have a story time about Boogie, but I don't know if I ever want to tell that story time, y'all. I'll probably take that story time to the grave, okay? But yeah, y'all. But yeah, y'all. I, I don't know. But. Huh? Yeah, he literally played me out, and he had a girlfriend the whole fucking time. That kind of hurted me, though. 
like literally the whole time and I was just flabbergasted. So I asked him, you know what I'm saying, about it and he was just like, yeah, I have a girlfriend. I'm like, so why you ain't say that before we did what we did? And he was just like, I do what I want. Like straight up, y'all, like he didn't care, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't about to hit that girl up and say nothing to her because it wasn't nothing to be said. You know what I'm saying? I only chilled with this nigga first time he hit on the first link. That's bad enough. I'm the one that literally went outside once again. You know what I'm saying? So I just let that be that, y'all. I ended up telling Lit about it or whatever. She was like, damn, girl, like, you could have had you a little, a little whoop-de-whoop. And I'm just like, yeah, I know. But it is what it is, y'all. I left him right there where his ass was at. I'm not about to mess with no nigga that got a whole girlfriend. Like, because I know how I am. Like, if I like you, I like you. And I can't take you messing with somebody else. Like, I never understand a girl that I know a nigga in a relationship and want to mess with them. Like, I can't do that. I'm not that girl. Like, if I mess with a nigga that was in a relationship, I promise you, baby, I didn't know. I promise you. I'm not into sharing. I'm stingy with mine. I can't share no man. Okay? I can't do it. <laughs> and I don't expect the next bitch to want to do it either. Okay? So, yeah, y'all. That's a wrap for this story time. If y'all like this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Catch your girl. Follow your girl on all social medias. That's at TikTok at Salute Marie and Instagram at Salute Marie. Y'all always make sure your post notification bells is always turned on. So, every time I post another video, y'all what? <laughs> Tune in. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.